What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another one of those subscription stylist thingamabobbers. Yes, another one of those. I have shown you a couple of them so far. I took you through the Amazon one and I also took you through the Stitch Fix one and the Amazon one was not so good but I'm giving them another shot. <laughs> So I think that one's going to be here maybe uh, Monday or Tuesday this week. So we'll see how that goes this time. Let's see if I got it right. And the Stitch Fix one was a huge success. Like I was super excited about that one. I'm still excited. But I didn't decide to keep doing the service because the clothes just cost too much for me. But as far as them nailing your style and all that kind of stuff, they definitely got it down. So in today's video, we are going to review Thread Up. Yes! <laughs> so ThreadUp also has a subscription type service stylist thing just like some of these other sites. Now theirs is called a goodie box. So if you want to do the ThreadUp one, you will go to the ThreadUp site, then you will select goodie box, you'll take their style quiz, and as I always tell you guys, please make sure that you are a hundred percent honest in your style quiz. Make sure that you are letting them know your exact height and weight and also what sizes you normally wear so that they can really get an idea of what your style is so they can send you things that you will hopefully keep in your box. Now with this one you get 10 pieces, at least 10 pieces. It could be more than 10 pieces but you're definitely going to get at least 10 pieces in your box to choose from. So you're going to decide from those 10 pieces whether or not you're going to keep them or return them. Now the cost for this service is $10. So it's $10 to do this service. So if you decide that you want to uh, return all of your items, you lose your $10. But if you decide that you're going to keep anything, the $10 is applied towards the purchase of the items you decide to keep. So it's very similar to the other ones, but the only difference with this one is they don't really try to like really think about styling you as far as like outfits and stuff like that go. They're just sticking things in the box based on what you tell them your style is and what sizes you give them uh, to put in the box. So that's pretty much all they're doing here is just kind of throwing things in there that they feel based on what you told them in your style quiz will be something that you would like to buy. So it's not really, I mean, they're not styling you, styling you, but they're definitely putting things in there um, that uh, you have indicated in your style quiz that you would like. So just make sure you're 100% honest in the quiz and it should be a successful uh, box for you. I don't know, maybe you'll keep everything, maybe you won't. There are no discounts or anything like that if you do decide to keep everything in the box, but I mean, at least they're throwing some things in there. What I felt, anyways, they're throwing some things in there that I would have normally never tried and never even thought about trying. Uh, I did give them my price range. They have a price range section where you tell them where you want to be. And of course, mine was at the lowest possible end because you guys know how I am. I'm as cheap as they come. <laughs> so they did stick within that price range. So I was really excited about that. But other than that, that's pretty much how the whole process works. I think that I've explained everything thoroughly. So without further ado, let's see what they sent me in my first thread up goodie box. <laughs> okay, guys. So here's my first piece. Um, you know what? <laughs> I like this shirt. Like I, I opened this first piece and I was like, yes, you know, I would actually wear this and I would probably definitely buy this if it was cheaper. It's uh, $17.99, so I just don't think that that is how much I would pay for this shirt, but Loki, I really like it. Like, honestly, if it was more like $10, I probably would keep it, but I'm definitely going to return this one, although this is 100% my style. They definitely nailed it there. The fit is fine. I mean, this fits me really good. I love this collar situation with the sequins. I just think that's so cool and unique, and this is like an off uh, white color, I guess you can say, with the black collar that has the gold sequins on it. Super cute. I mean, this could go with a ton of things. And I decided just to put this black shirt on underneath it because of course this is sheer. I would never wear it by itself. Although you could do that. I mean, if you're comfortable just having like a, a colored bra underneath this, that would probably be really cute too. It's definitely not something that I would ever do. So mo most likely I would put a shirt um, underneath it like this uh, tight black shirt or a tight short sleeve tank or something like that. You know, somewhere along those lines, that's probably what I would put this with. But overall, it's really cute. <clears throat> Here's the back of it. Super cute. I mean, I really, <laughs> I really like this shirt. But 
I'm not going to keep it. This one is definitely going back. So it is not a fail as far as the style and the fit is a huge thumbs up, but it is a fail for me on the price, even though it's not that much. It's only $17.99. I just don't want to pay $17.99 for this shirt. So this one is a big no just because of the price, even though it's not that high. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the next piece. Okay, guys, so here's my next item. Oh my gosh, tell me, is this not the most adorable skirt you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Yes, I love this skirt, and you guys know how I am about functioning pockets. The pockets are very functionable. I love to stick my hands in my pockets. I guess I'm a pocket girl. I said in that other video briefly, I said, I'm not really into pockets, but apparently I am. Yeah, I'm loving putting my hands in the pockets here. And what I like about these pockets also is if you want to put something, you know, that you want to keep safe in there, they are snap shut. So cute. Yes, and fashionable cute and fashionable so the other great thing about this skirt is the fact that it's high-waisted love that i definitely put that in my style quiz um it's a little short for me but this fabric is extremely heavy this is obviously a winter skirt you know it kind of looks like you know a blanket i guess you can say but totally my style <laughs> so i definitely will wear this oh my god this is so cute and if i turn to the back <clears throat> look a nice exposed zipper yes oh my gosh i absolutely love 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 love, love this skirt so at 17.99 do i like it 17.99 yes yes i do so i am 100 percent going to keep this skirt the fact that it's um on the short side for me doesn't really matter because it's such a heavy skirt obviously this is something that i would wear in the winter time so i will probably have extremely thick uh you know leggings on underneath it so the fact that it's short doesn't really matter it kind of cancels itself out because i'll have those thick leggings on with it so i'm definitely keeping this this is so this is really cute and quite a surprise normally i wouldn't pay 17.99 dollars for a skirt but i am in love with this one so i'm 100 percent keeping it so ding yes this is a keeper so that's exciting we're two items in and I'm keeping something already. That's pretty exciting. So go thread up. I told you they got it down on the clothes. They just need some work on the shoes. You know, I would be happy to help them. <laughs> if they want to hire me, I'm definitely for hire. At any rate, uh, yeah, this is such a cute skirt. Definitely keeping it. So let's move on to the next item. Okay, guys, because I'm trying to be efficient while I'm trying this stuff on and not be unnecessarily taking stuff off. I'm just trying to uh, make it easier for myself. <laughs> the next item is a jacket. Yes, this is a Tommy Hilfiger white jean jacket, and it's really cute. Honestly, I would probably maybe wear this, but at $27.99, definitely not going to keep it. It's definitely not something I want to keep, but it's a really cute jacket. It definitely fits me fine. Um, if I didn't have this shirt underneath um, that I'm wearing right now, I think it would be like look really cute, but the shirt's kind of throwing everything off. But I love the frayed sleeves on the end here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. This jacket is really cute, and I almost contemplated keeping it until I saw the price. I was like, I'm not going to pay $27.99 for it because white is really not something that I wear very often anyways. So I just don't see me getting a whole lot of use out of this, but I love the frayed ends on this. This is so cute. Wonder if I can buy a really cheap, not wonder, I know that I can buy a really cheap denim jacket at Gabe's. And if the ends aren't frayed, I'll just fray them like this. because This is really cute. Like this is giving me an idea for a DIY. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to pay $27.99 for this. It fits me very good. They got that right. The style is somewhat mine you know I just don't really wear white that often so maybe if this was like a different color or like a regular denim I might have considered keeping it but still probably wouldn't have it $27.99 but here's the back there's the back of it super cute I mean this is a really cute jacket but I'm definitely not keeping it for $27.99 so this was not a fail though this fit me fine they definitely got you know stuck the size in that I said to stick in there and um I feel like this is along the lines of my style I just wouldn't pay this much for it and I really don't wear white very often so this one is a negative let's move on to the next piece <laughs> okay guys Here's my next piece, this lovely, 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 lovely skirt. And you know what? I absolutely love the fact that it has pockets, obviously. Like I said, I am apparently a pocket girl. But, um, and I love everything about it, but it is too big. 
So it's supposed to be high-waisted, so it should be up here. So it is definitely a little big on me. Um, if I was to keep it, I would have to take it in. And at $33.99, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> it's definitely going back. So I just can't justify altering something that costs that much money. So, I mean, I like it. Uh, it's definitely my style, 100% my style. I love the bright yellow. This is so cute. And, uh, you know, if it fit me the right way, I would love the length. I would love everything about it. It's just not hitting me right. It is a little big on me. They definitely sent the size that I indicated I wear. So that is not their fault. Um, that, you know, it just, like I said, it's different with all of the uh, different brands. So you just never know. But I would rather get something that's a little big and take it in than get something that is just, you know, <laughs> way too tight and I have to deal with it. So nonetheless, um, if this fit me properly, I still wouldn't even consider keeping it at $33.99, but I do like it. It is 100% my style and they're definitely within my budget. I think the budget was like, I think you could say 20 to like, I don't know, $45 or something. I don't quote me on that. I'm really not sure what the lower end budget was, but whatever the lower end budget was is what I picked. And this is definitely not something that I would keep just because I don't want to pay $33.99 for a, a skirt. But yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so here's the back. I mean, it's really cute. Honestly, oh, it's so cute. If it fit me good and it was like, you know, a price that I would want to pay, I would 100% keep it. But because it falls in neither of those categories, it is a big fat no. It's not going to happen. So let's not waste any more time on it and move on to the next piece. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I mean, this is so ridiculous. It's falling off of me. Um, Yeah. So here's the next skirt. Look how cute it would be if it fit me though. Oh my gosh. That would be so friggin cute, but it doesn't fit me. So it's too big. So clearly I went too big. I think I told them medium and I'm pretty sure this is a medium and apparently I'm a small, I guess I'm not as big as I think I am, but I just was like, I'd rather get a medium and ha and take it in than I would uh, have to rather deal with a small. So nonetheless, uh, yeah, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> So it's $21.99. I probably wouldn't keep it even if it did because I'm not that in love with it, but it's 100% my style. I love the fact that they have pockets in it. Uh, it's it's really cute. It just uh, doesn't fit me at all. So I cannot justify altering this and dealing with all of that to keep it when I, I mean, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. So it's 100% my style, but yeah, I'm not in love with it. So definitely not going to keep it. Here's the back. I mean, it's really cute. Oh, it is so cute. I just wish that it fit me and I wish that it was cheaper because, you know, I'm not going to pay that much. So, uh, yeah, this is another piece that I'm not going to keep, but they're nailing on the style, guys. And you know what? They're sending the size that I told them to send, so I really can't complain about that either. So, yeah, I mean, so far, they're nailing it. But this, negative, let's move on. <laughs> Okay, guys, here's my next item. So it's this sheer top. And um, yeah, this is definitely a miss. This is definitely not something that I would pick out for myself. Um, Style-wise, you know, believe it or not, I do buy things like this that are just on one shoulder. And I wear a top underneath it because you guys know how modest I am. And I just don't like to have a ton of stuff hanging out. So I would definitely wear a top underneath it. So it's not completely uh, wrong in the fact that I would never buy a top like this. So the style itself is definitely something that I would... Uh, buy just definitely not for $16.99 I can promise you that I'm definitely not going to pay $16.99 for this shirt but it's still along the lines of the right style it is a little big that is of course it's not a fault of theirs this brand probably just runs big because I normally wear a medium in shirts and this is a medium but this is just running a little big I mean as you can see it's you know that's not how it's supposed to fit so obviously it's supposed to be a little more up here which looks a lot better but as far as the print and everything goes it's really just not something that I would pick out for myself, but I still feel like they're definitely getting it right along the right style. So this isn't a complete, a, a complete miss, I guess you can say, as far as that goes, I feel like they're on the right track for my style. This, just this item itself is a miss for me. If that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing everybody. Nonetheless, this is definitely not something that I would buy. Let me show you the back. So, I mean, it's a cute top. 
definitely not something that I'm interested in, especially for $16.99. So let's move on to the next item. <laughs> okay, guys, here's my next item. How cute is this? Oh my God, this is so fun. Look at this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, obviously I love the shirt. I mean, I think it's really cute. What I like the most about it is the fact that they just added this fun fringe detail on the bottom. That's 100% me. And I like the fact that it's a looser fitted shirt. I don't like my stuff to be super tight on me because I have a lot of flaws since I had my son and I haven't done anything to try to uh, get rid of those flaws, like, you know, exercise. <laughs> so I might want to think about doing that. But nonetheless, um, it just makes me feel more comfortable if I have a looser fitted shirt on. I feel like it hides all those areas that I'm just not comfortable with anymore. So this is actually really good. I think that the, uh, the sleeves are hitting me a little funny. I don't think that's where they're supposed to hit me and that's probably just because I'm a shorter person but I would be okay with that honestly I mean this is, this is a cute top and when I opened it up I was like what this is fun look how fun this is yes and I like the bright pink color I think there's a ton of stuff that I could wear this with and to top it all off we have a nice exposed zipper on the back look at how cute that is oh my gosh like I am loving this top so uh it's $17.99. Would I normally pay that much for a top? Yeah, no. But you know what? I'm going to keep this because it's just so different. I love the fringe and stuff on it. So, uh, yeah, this is a keeper. Woo! How exciting. So I have two items so far that I'm keeping. That's actually more than I ever keep from any haul like ever. So this is really great. I mean, this is, yeah, not any haul ever. Let me correct myself. Any of these styling hauls, like when I have a haul that I bought the items, I keep all of them like every time. <laughs> but, um, when I'm doing these styling hauls, I'm finding that I'm just not keeping the items, not liking the items they are too expensive, whatever. This is $17.99. Definitely wouldn't normally pay $17.99 for a shirt, but I really like this one. It's so fun with the fringe and everything. So yeah, this is a keeper. So let's move on to the next item. Okay, guys, here's my next item. So first, let me explain the little, you know, clothespin thingamabobber here. You guys know that I'm modest and it's just a little too low for me. But if I liked this dress, which let's just get into it, I don't. Um, Style-wise, I think it would be great for me because if I were to keep this, I would just take my sewing machine and just stitch this part down right where I needed it so that this was um, closed off and I felt comfortable. And I could just wear it like this without anything underneath it, no layering, no, none of that. So that is great. Um, I love the fact that I can add this little ribbon for the high-waisted part, but I just really don't care for this print. Mm, not a fan. So they nailed it on my style again. I said prints, I said bold prints, bold colors. They definitely nailed that part of it. And honestly, I would keep this if it was just a little bit different because it is only $18.99. Um, I feel like it fits me great. I, I don't feel like there's any issues there. The fit is good. I just uh, don't care for this print. So I definitely would never wear this. But there's so many good things about it as far as the fit goes. Great. Yes. But I just, yeah, the style or like not the style, I guess you can say it would be the print is just not for me. Let me show you the back. So here's the back of it. And I mean, yeah, guys, this fits me so good. This really fits me good. Honestly, if I just had to tack this little bit down and that's it, that's great alteration to have to make for something. But, uh, and it's only $18.99. So I think the price is great. I just uh, don't care for the print. So I'm definitely going to return this one. Also, kind of stinks. I was hoping to keep more, but yeah, this one's definitely going to go back too. But again, they're nailing it on my style. So thumbs up to them so far, but definitely a thumbs down for this dress. So let's move on to the next item. Okay, guys, here's my next item. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, do you not love this? Oh my God, I love this. The fit of this is great. I mean, this fits me so, 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 so good. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so problems are obviously the sleeves. I mean, the sleeves are obviously too long for me. That's an easy fix though. I mean, I'll just have to, you know, just kind of roll it like this on my sewing machine and then just sew it down to make it so that they're where they're supposed to be. 
So for me, that's an easy fix. Oh my God, I love this so much. Like this is so cute. And the tag on the inside of it says $89.90. So that was the suggested retail. So you probably wouldn't get this dress for under $40 in the store, I would say, because even if they did like 50% off, it would probably be around that amount or whatever, but it's $25.99 for me to get. And normally I wouldn't even pay that much for a dress, but I love this so much. I'm definitely keeping it. Yes, it's a keeper. I love it. It just fits me so good. And I love the crazy billowy sleeves happening here. Like we got ruffles up here. We have ruffles at the bottom. This is like, um, I don't know. I guess it's like a, it's not, I don't want to say sheer because it has like a mesh type situation happening here. I don't know, I guess it's considered sheer or whatever because you can see through it, but I really love that element. It's so cute. And I mean, the fit, I and mean, it just fits me so good. And normally I don't like stuff hugging my neck like this, but this doesn't bother me at all. And it is so, oh my gosh, did I say this was cute yet? This is so cute. I absolutely love this dress. And it's definitely not anything that I would have picked out for myself, but I love it. And it's purple. I mean, they nailed it on this one. They nailed it. They got my favorite color. They got a great fit and the craziness of the sleeves and everything. It's just screaming Amber. I mean, they nailed this one. I am so excited. So obviously this is a definite keeper. Let me show you the back. Here's the back of it. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so cute. I love this. Oh, yay. I am really excited about this one. This is probably the most exciting thing that I got in any of my hauls so far that were like stylist hauls. I am 100% keeping this, obviously. I'm really excited about it. It's so my style. So I have one more item to show you and then we're going to wrap this video up. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I know you're probably thinking she said she had one more item for us. What the heck is she doing? I do have one more item for you guys, but let me explain something really quick. Uh, before I do these videos for you guys, I always try the stuff on so that I can get an idea of my talking points, decide whether or not I'm going to keep it and all that stuff before I start filming. Plus, I like to try it on without any makeup on so I don't have to worry about messing anything up. I only have to do that one time, not several times. So nonetheless, um, I did already try this top on. It's a shirt. I've already tried it on and um when I put it on I almost couldn't get it off <laughs> it definitely was too small for me it says it's a size medium but I'm finding that extremely hard to believe I think it might be missized it's actually like an extra small because it did not fit me that all <laughs> like I mean it was terrible but nonetheless I'm still going to show you the top so that you can see all of the items that I got and here's the top so oh my gosh it is so cute though look how cute this friggin' top is. I love it. And I know I tell you guys all the time I'm not a white person. Like, I obviously I'm not a white person. Nonetheless, I'm not a wearing a white type person. <laughs> so, um, when I saw this top though, oh my god, I fell in love with it. Look at these pearl sleeves. Ah! I love them! These pearl sleeves are so friggin' cute. But when I put this top on, look through here, it's just so small. Like, it has no give at all. So when I put this on, like, it smushed my boobs down. I looked like I had no boobs or anything. It was, it was really bad. Let me just put it that way. So when I took it off, it was really hard to get it off. And I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to get it off without damaging it. But I did manage to get it off. So, uh, nonetheless, this is such a cute top. I love it. It goes all the way up. Like, I, I know. I don't know, kind of like a mock neck situation. And I just love these sleeves. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with these sleeves. But unfortunately, it was too small for me. The top is $16.99. And to top everything off, as if this isn't all cute enough, it comes with a belt. So it comes with a super cute belt. It has these uh, really cute pearls on the belt and everything. So you put the belt around it and it just really sets this top off. Like, oh my gosh, I love this top. I love the pearl sleeves. It's $16.99. It is too small for me. It does say it's a size medium, but again, um, you know, I'm questioning that. So nonetheless, um, oh no. <laughs> Look at that. That's probably for me trying to get it off. Look at that. It's ripped lovely <laughs> nonetheless even though it's ripped and even though it's sixteen dollars and 99 cents even though it doesn't fit me i'm actually gonna keep it <laughs> i know it's probably gonna surprise everybody but listen i love this top and i know something uh style wise that will look good on me when i see it and this does look good on me if it fit me 
That makes sense? Probably not. Nonetheless, there's going to be a DIY on this top because clearly I need to make it so that it'll fit me. That's going to be a really easy fix, guys. All I have to do is take out this back seam right here and just add some more fabric in. I mean, it's really that simple. So it's going to be an easy fix for me to fix this. And obviously, I'm going to have to stitch this part down. And Loki, I, I, that could be my fault because <laughs> I had a hard time getting it off and I bet I ripped it when I did that. So nonetheless, I'm definitely keeping this top, even though all of those issues are, you know, there, I'm definitely keeping it because it's just way too cute to pass up. So uh, you're definitely going to see a DIY on this top. Let me uh, pop into my final thoughts and we'll close out this video. Okay, guys. So overall, that was so, 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 so successful. I am really excited. I was not sure what to expect with the Thread Up goodie box, but I think they did a great job nailing my style. They definitely sent the sizes I told them to, but of course, I know I need to make a few adjustments in the skirt size because clearly the mediums are too big for me, so I need to um, switch to changing that to a small. Uh, other than that, oh my gosh, everything was so great. I was really excited. Yes, I'm only keeping four of the 10 pieces, but overall, they definitely sent things that were within my style. So I will definitely do this again. Not sure when, but I'm definitely going to do another goodie box because this was so fun. Like you're, it's a surprise. It's like a mystery box situation too. You know, you just don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what they're going to send you. So it's a really exciting thing. And I definitely found some things that I would never normally buy for myself, but I'm going to go ahead and treat myself and get them for myself. So that's really exciting. I, I don't know. This was just such a fun experience. So overall, I am keeping the plaid skirt, which was $17.99. I am keeping the pink top, which was also $17.99. I'm keeping that white shirt that didn't fit me for $16.99. I'm keeping this awesome dress that I so love for $25.99. The total for all of the things that I've decided to keep is $78.96. So definitely more than I would normally spend for four pieces of clothing. But again, I'm treating myself. I'm allowed to do that every now and again. So I'll just get these goodie boxes when I'm feeling like I might want to treat myself to something nice. And uh, we'll just go with it that way. <laughs> I mean, most people would drop 80 bucks on one item. But you know, for me, four items, $80 is a lot of money. But again, I'm just going to go ahead and treat myself. And we're just going to call it that. <laughs> It's a good thing that my fiance doesn't watch my videos because he would probably explode if he knew how much I spent on all this stuff. I make my own money, so I don't understand why it matters. Nonetheless, he would probably lose his mind. <laughs> Good thing he doesn't watch my videos. Nonetheless, I'm really excited about this haul. I thought that it was really successful. So if you're thinking of using the Thread Up Goodie Box service, I would highly suggest that you just make sure that you are 100% um, uh, honest on your style quiz and just really explain what your style is. And I feel like they'll nail it for you because they definitely nailed it for me. I'm very happy with this service. I definitely will use it again in the future. Also, I forgot to point out, it is really easy to return their items as well. They include a uh, USPS um, label that you can put on whatever package you want. I mean, if you want to send it in the same box that they sent to you, that's fine. If you don't want to send it in that, you want to put it in, in something a little bit smaller because you're not returning a whole lot of things, then you can just use whatever box you want and just stick that label on there and it's good to go. And as I told you guys, in my area, they do offer pickup for free during regular mail service hours. So just check your area and see if that's a possibility for you as well. If you don't feel like taking the box and dropping it off to the post office. So I, ah, this was such a great experience for me and I definitely can't wait to do it again. I hope that you guys found this helpful or useful in some way. <laughs> if you did, please hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, like, share, do all those things to help other people find this channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! Yeah, so last week I showed you Stitch Fix and the Stitch Fix and the Thread Up one came out. No, I don't want to say Thread Up. I want to be surprised. Thread Up! <laughs> and in today's video, we are going to review Thread Up. Yeah, so Thread Up has another one, uh, is another website. Thread Up. What I got to get Did you get it? Great. <laughs> so I've been trying a lot of these lately. You guys saw me do the Amazon one. You saw me do the Stitch Fix one. And the Amazon was what? <clears throat>
<laughs> Again? <laughs> yes, we're gonna do another one of those today. I've been showing you guys a couple of these so far. I've been showing you a couple of these. How about I've shown you? <laughs> oh, I'll get it right eventually, maybe. Okay, guys, here's my next item. It is this super, super cute skirt with these functional pockets. You guys know how I like to put my hands in my pockets. The mirror is like going to be totally distracting. Let's do it again. Okay, guys, here's my next piece. It is this sheer top here. And, you know, I, it, like, it would be... <laughs> I can't even get it out because it just doesn't fit me. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, guys, here's my next item. So, um, yeah, first let me explain this. Like, you know, guys, I'm just, I'm a modest person. So if I were to keep this dress, which I'm not going to keep this dress, and you know what, I have to start over because I don't know how much the damn dress is. Oh, can't say damn. Beep. I already tried this stuff on and when I tried this shirt on it was definitely too small and I almost wasn't able to get it off the first time <laughs> I tried it on oh no hold on okay guys I'm sure you're probably thinking did I show it I, I think I might have showed it okay do it again should I just save uh yeah, I'm going to do it again. Okay, guys. So, overall, that was successful. I mean, they nailed my style. They did such a great job finding things that was at work. Uh, yeah. And we're closing it up. <laughs>